Simon Mulongo was a member of the Constituent Assembly and former legislator of the 9th Parliament. Despite the fact that he enjoyed representing his people of Bulo East in Parliament, it came with many demands. Obligations to do with the fundraisings. You are the one to contribute heaviest, building churches, building schools, community programs uh, that are supposed to be done at sub county and below, which require the population contribution. They come to you. And then um, uh, we also have um, other things like barrio. Um, for example, I used to spend uh, close to um, uh, 3.5 million a month. Besides those personal demands, members of parliament are also expected to supplement government programs. When a road is being done, maybe by the local government, and uh, it is not either properly done or there are some more deficiencies, they come to you as a member of parliament to contribute. In Irunyangwari, there is what we call Burunjibugansi, working good for the community. And uh, if the MP contributed, it, it has no problem. But in downtown Kampala, a number of people who we spoke to and are voters in different constituencies, they seem to know the roles of members of parliament. He's supposed to come on ground in my constituency, get our ideas, then take them to parliament and legislate about them. To work like on roads, work like on hospital, uh, medicine in hospitals, to pay teachers and uh, medical practitioners, generally to provide services. You should also try to go an extra mile since ties are on the laws they also pass. But making laws that of course will help Ugandans. I think the role of the member of parliament is generally known. But uh, the knowledge of the role of the member of parliament has been subsumed in the overriding things that are visible, that seem attractive to the, to the voter. The cardinal roles of a member of parliament are to legislate, oversight and excesses of the executive and representation. According to Simon Mulongo, the demands are real and wipe a big chunk of MPs' monthly salaries. So you find that member of parliament, as much as he or she is guaranteed with monthly income of about 25 million, in the end has a net deficit of about 5 million on the average. So the, the MPs find themselves indebted every month and that's why it is not um, understandable that a person who earns 25 million shillings a month can have court brokers on the door or at parliament at the gates every other period. That's why they have to demand for more what? Uh, salary. But they cannot suffice to cover everybody. To reduce or even get rid of commercialization of politics in Uganda, Mulongo suggests the reduction of MPs' salaries. So if you're getting 25 to 30 million, let's earn 10 and less million per month, I believe it will become less attractive for a contestant to use a lot of money when actually you're going to earn as little as that. Though some politicians and the civil society want a law in place to curb the dishing out of money and other gifts, particularly during elections, it's still unclear whether voters will put an end to the transactional nature of the relationship with their MPs. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.